right, guys. So we got we're done with it. Um, this is the final product. You guys will see some of the sanding and stuff I did. I'll play some of that back. But um, this is the Traditions St. Louis Hawking Kit that you can get. And I, what I did is I subdued, subdued. That's like a military <laughs> term. I uh, I actually took and tarnished this so you could tarnish all the brass. But look at how that works out, and it wears in. See how it's wearing in up here. All that brass wears in. It's it's a beautiful way. I wanted a rifle that looked like it stepped out of the woods. So a um, couple things that we left off on is we were fitting all the brass. Um, now you see that I got the stock fit. Everything's fit on there and you'll see where we uh, we just ran it right up against the brass and then it did scratch up the brass as we were fitting it. But we just went back over the brass and polished it out. Now, if I was to do this the old-fashioned way, it would have taken a lot longer, but I used a Dremel tool and and uh, sanders and electric sanders and all that because we're going to hunt with this thing. So you're going to have to follow along. We're going to spring bear hunts, the first hunt that we're doing, and that starts here in a couple weeks. All right, guys. Um, we're going to go back over some of the videos, and I'll show you some of the ways that we got to this point. But Okay, we'll start with heavy sandpaper. Um, we're starting with 60 grit. I'm going to take it down, get it close, and then I'll finish it up with some lighter grit. So, here we go. Ah! And, as you can see, it's taking it down. We're getting closer and closer to that brass. So, I'll continue to do this, and I'll bring it back as soon as we get down. Okay, so I got it all broke apart here on uh, the kitchen counter and you see I pulled all the brass off I got everything sanded pulled all the brass off and I am going to polish the brass before I blacken it because I, I want a good finish on it like like this has got a good enough finish on it. if you look at like say this that really needs polish before I blacken it so I'm going to polish it with a Dremel and a polisher and then we will blacken all this and put it back on or actually we'll blacken all of it, stain this and put it back on. Okay, they don't have to be polished perfectly but they have to all look the same kind of um, finish and that's what we're after here is um, just kind of that burnish finish I gotta wash them off yet but I want them to look old too so we're gonna we're gonna put that into the brass black and that'll antique these and when we did this we wanted to try to really make it look antique -y. Um, I kind of want it looking like it's been out in the woods and been used All right, we got the we got everything sanded down. Um, I'm gonna go with a different uh, stain, and then I'll I'll seal this. I don't have the sealer right now, but I'll go over it with oil. But I like this red color to go with everything else I did. Um, the gunstock color that they that they make is really nice too. Um, I've just decided to go with this color because it's gonna offset the brown that uh, brown that I did. So.
and if it's a little bit too red, um, I'll go back over it with some brown after I read it. Uh, yeah, so that is a little bit too red, um, but I'll go back over it with the yellow. And just cover it all. Just cover the whole stuff. One of the things that I, I would like to have you guys do is if you could leave me some questions in the comments um, on how this kit, kit went, some of the things that I found that were bad, some of the things that I found that I had to do, um, anything like that. And I'll, I'll step through and show you some of the stuff. I'm also going to show you five things that you need to know before you build one of these kits, and that'll be in another video. But I just want to do this video to show you that uh, it's done. It's, it's awesome, actually. It's one of the funnest things I've done in a long time. So, all right, I'm gonna shoot her now. Okay, now we're gonna hit the log. We're shooting the log this time. This gauge shot at it twice and missed it. It's if, it was, if it was a bear, he'd be dead. Because <laughs> I can't reload the thing fast enough either. Right. So you better have a another pistol in your in your uh, thingy, right? Did I hit it? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> the only way you can tell is if there's nothing on the other side of that smoke when it clears. <laughs> and then then you might have to do this. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm hoping for, though. I'm going to carry a Bowie knife. Um, LS blades. If I could get a knife from you that matches this, that'd be awesome. And I just... Ah, I can club him once with this, make him see stars, and then I can go after the juggler. Let's see if we killed it. All right. Well... Oh, yeah, we got him. That's his first shot. That's a dead bear. I think he skipped that one in there. No, no, I didn't know skipping in there. That just took him out right there. Oh, what happened is it went through. I got a pass through on this section. <laughs> And it, it went in, passed through one section, and I think it's hung up on the outside shoulder. We're, we're going to dig that out of there and see where it's at. Nothing on the other side. Oh, it went through and it bounced off once it broke through. So it's down underneath there somewhere. Right there. Yep. Right. That would have done a number on the bear. Yeah. So when we pick out our, our targets, we pick out targets that look like bears. Yeah. 